In today's video, you'll learn how to transfer your embroidery files from your computer onto your embroidery machine. I will also be teaching you how to do this from your PC and your Mac, so don't worry, we got you. Let's take care of the Mac first. Let's say you've already acquired your first design by joining our designs club, digitizingmadeeasy.com, click the link in bio, and you've downloaded your file and placed it on your desktop. And your files would look something like this, depending on the design that you get. Some designs will be large, medium or small, or it may just be one. You wanna use the design size that your hoop fits and that you can embroider on. So for example, for this one, I'm going to open the traditional S. Now you'll see a bunch of these file formats like art, DST, EMB, EXP. What do they mean? Well, for embroidery, each one of these file formats is readable by a different thing. So for example, DST, those are usually read by Tajima machines as well as many other commercial machines or PES, which are read by brother machines. So this is very important. You wanna know what is the file format that your embroidery machine can read. And there's also this file, which is called a PDF. This one, if you double click it and you open it, you will see, this is where you can see the colors, the color order of the machine, as well as up here on the top right, you see the amount of stitches as well as the height and the width of the design. The thread brands that you're using and the simple the zoom of that. Now I'm gonna close that out of there. And the last thing is this traditional tats.emb. That is the file format that is read by Wilcom. So if you wanna make some changes to this file and you have Wilcom on your computer, then this is what you'd use. Unfortunately, Mac has very little digitizing programs, so we we'll, won't talk about that now. Now, this is the USB that I use to import all of my designs onto my embroidery machine. And if you have any of the newer MacBooks, then you'll notice that there is no actual USB port for that. Here is a dongle that I use to plug in the USB. And from then on, I plug it into the PC. And now the Mac can read the USB. On your computer, it should appear now as Toshiba or any other of the brands that you may have. The brand of the USB doesn't really matter. You can honestly get whatever is available. And something that I noticed is if you have a USB that has over 100 gigs, your machine actually ends up slow slowing down a little bit and that is because your machine is trying to read the whole the whole 100 gigabytes. So to stop that and to stop a little bit of that lag, what you can do is get a smaller size USB. Something between eight gigabytes and 16 gigabytes should be enough. We're gonna double click on the Toshiba. We're gonna double click on the design that you've downloaded and I like to put them side by side. So then you're gonna choose the sizes that you want to upload onto your USB or you can download all three of them. Here are two ways of copying your files and pasting them onto your USB. You can right click and click copy and on your USB, you can right click and press paste, paste item, and now your design is there. Or like I just did, you can click and hold and drag onto your USB. Now I have both files and you can have both formats on your USB. There's absolutely no problem with that. Your industrial machine will read the DST and your single home needle machine will read the PES. So I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna right click onto Shiva and simply click eject. Awesome, now it's done. I can unplug this and now the designs are here. Now very quickly, let's just take care of the PC version. Now here I am on my PC and thankfully it actually has some USB ports so I no longer need this dongle to connect my USB. I'm simply going to plug it in. Now it'll open up. My computer is a little bit different which shows some hidden folders so please ignore these. It's actually empty right now. And I'm gonna double click just like I did on Mac and open up the traditional attached folder. You can see the large, the medium and the small. Then you wanna choose the size that you want. So for me it's going to be small and you can see down here every single one of those files. Please ignore these ones up here for my computer, it's just showing some extra files, but you probably won't see those on your computer. So again, EMB, DST, ART, PES, everything that you need, and you'll even find a PDF. So again, if you click on the PDF, you double click, then it'll open it up, and you'll see the same information that you saw on the Mac. So for me, I still wanna have the PES, and we still have two options, we can right click, on the actual file that we want. We can do copy and we can right click and we can do paste. And the other option that we can do is we can hold, click and hold and then drag your file onto the USB. Now that it's there, we can close it. We can close this one. And at the bottom, you will find this little icon. This is Windows 10 and it, it looks like this. You can right click on it and you can say eject trans memory, which is the USB. 
and now the files are on your computer. It was very simple and super quickly to get your designs on this. Now, if you have an embroidery machine and you don't have any designs to get started, we actually have five of the most popular embroidery designs for free on the Digitizing Made Easy website. Make sure to click the link in bio. Now, all that's left is to import your designs on your embroidery machine. Let's go. Now I'm gonna show you how to import your designs fairly easy on your single needle home machine. We're gonna first turn on the power to the machine, let it load for a second. And all I'm gonna do is find a USB port for this machine is on the right, put in the USB, that's awesome. And I'm going to click on this USB icon that you see. Now, you'll see that both of the file formats now show up, but they're grayed out. And the reason they're grayed out is because this machine hoop size is smaller than the file. So that's why you want to make sure that when you download a design, it'll fit within the hoop. Unfortunately, this one is just a little bit too big and it's too large for the embroidery frame. But if the design were a little smaller, then you can simply click on the next design and have the design on your embroidery machine. Now, let's do it on the industrial one. For your industrial machines, it's very similar. So we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna locate where the USB plug is. In this case, it's over here. Just find the right size. And you always just wanna find where your design's inputs will be. These are all the designs that I already have on the machine. And I'm going to click on the USB to import the first design. Now you'll see the Tajima DST, which I will click on that. And I'm going to click OK. Awesome, it's gonna copy that design. And then the next thing that I'll do is click on the embroidery machine. So for this machine, this has like safe designs. So I have to go back and then simply click on that one. And I'm gonna press okay. It's gonna load up really quickly. And now the design is ready to be embroidered. Awesome. Now I can select all the colors and this is where the PDF comes in handy because now you can choose whatever colors that your machine needs to read that design and pick from your multi-needle machine. And just like that with ease, that is how you transfer your embroidery files from your computer onto your embroidery machine. If you guys have any questions or are encountering any problems, don't hesitate to leave a comment down and we'll do our best to help you guys out. Don't forget to download the right proper format and size for your embroidery machine. And remember to download our free embroidery designs that we've created for you in the link in bio. Thank you so much, Legacy family. In the meantime, come watch this video and we'll see you soon with more embroidery content. Have a great day, guys. Good luck with all embroidery. Bye-bye.